Oh, all right. Hey guys, welcome to the lowdown. So this series is my vlog and it's something I've been wanting, I've been planning. I've always wanted a series where I could just be fluid and loose. So it's going to be mainly a slice of life and you get to come with me into some of the projects that I have. Now for today, we're gonna do a behind the scenes of a lifestyle shoot and a product photo and video shoot for Quixus Tech 63 Tactical Half Mask. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, click on the link above or in the description below for my review and sort of first impressions and unboxing and hammerhead gearhead. But you know, you can watch that after and just stick with me and let's do the shoot. Cool? Let's do it. All right, so we're here in our location. As, as you can see, it's perfect. For what you want to shoot today, you have a bit of graffiti, it's a bit dilapidated, it's rustic, and we have three floors with which you can shoot on. So yeah, I'll bring you to the gear. Let's check it out. We have our product, the mask. So this is the male version. And supporting props, we have Megatex. We have a white one. We have a black one. And then of course you have hoodies, you have a black hoodie. And on my knees you have the white Andrea. As for the gear, we have a 24-70Z and the fisheye. Of course, my secret weapon is the 7200. And a backup, which is a Z6. So right now I'm shooting with a Z50. Let's shoot. So we'll do first the signal shots, the individuals, and then later we'll probably do me and Bea together and Chuck will be the one holding the camera. Right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we just finished to the fourth floor, and now moving up to the sixth. And let's see what else we can shoot there. Right, we're down to our last layout and we're gonna head to the roof, the roof deck. Oh man, look at that. This K. Here we are for the final shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do to get the perfect shot. Now for the hard part. <laughs> oh.
Malayo pa. <laughs> Malayo pa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Teka nga, stay ka muna dyan, sayang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is it. We are done with the last style shoot of the Tech 63 Tactical Half Mask Bike Quicks. It's a wrap. See you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to day two of our shoot for Quixis Tech 63 Tactical Half Masks. Today, we're doing the product photo and video shoot here in my studio. So what we will do, I will give you a sort of tour first of my little set slash studio and then show you the equipment I'm shooting with and then you can tag along for the rest of the shoot. So I hope you will enjoy it. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's do it. All right, so here's the studio. It's a little setup here in our house and I'll just talk you through what they have here. So let's start with the back. I have a savage black backdrop for the shoot and I have these V flats. I love them. So they're black at one side and then white on the other. I have two of them right here. You can see it. So this one is supposed to keep out the sun. This here. And then this other one is sort of a bounce. Yeah, no, it's not sort of a bounce. It is a bounce to reflect the light that's coming from my Godox here, SL60W. This is an amazing light. It's 60 watts and I use it for my vlog and my product video shoots. So you may be asking why I'm not using a flash for the shoot. Well, I'm shooting both photo and video, so I'd rather stick with just a continuous light. And I have a mini dome from Aperture with a grid right here, so that the light is more focused and direct. I have these textured tiles that I got from the Wilcon store, the hardware store, sorry. And there you have the mask itself. Next is my main camera. This is the Nikon Z7. Let me turn that on. There you go. And then, um, so it's Z7 with a 60 millimeter macro lens. So it's perfect for product shoots. I would rather have a 105, but I sold mine. Maybe I should get another one again. And I have an RRS mm -hmm. L plate, and I have this uh, accessory that allows me to secure my cables. Mm -hmm. You may be wondering what this is. This is an Atomos Ninja Star. It is what allows me to record my EVF for my tutorials mm -hmm. and for this actual video. So. This is a neat piece of equipment and I've been using it ever since I started the vlog. You have the tether cable from Tether Tools and it's connected here to my MacBook Pro and I'm running Capture One. I like shooting tethered when I'm on the studio. And here I have the female version of the mask and it's on a small turntable slash Lazy Susan so it's motorized. So it gives me that smooth circular movement when I'm shooting it for video. I have a YC onion chocolate slider. So for smooth dollying in, dollying out shots for the video. And I have a Joby tripod 5K. This is amazing. You can see that. Those were chewed on by a polar bear when I was in the Arctic. Now it's recording. It's still holding up. And for my video camera, I have the Nikon Z6 with a 24 to 70 f4 lens in an 8 cent cage. It's connected to a Ninja 5 and Atoma so I can record and log. And yeah, that's it. So let's start shooting. Let's start with the solo shots. One piece of equipment that I wasn't able to show you guys today for today's shoot is that at the back there, I have a Pilotfly Atomcube RX-1. So I use this LED squarish, rectangularish actually, uh, LED light for product shoots like this one. So what is awesome about this is that 
You can control the light using an app. So you can make it red, you can make it yellow, you can make it green, and so on. So in this case, I would just keep it a neutral white and it gives that sort of um, backlighting for depth for this particular shoot. So I'm pretty happy with what I got. Now I will switch my Z7 and use my Z6 with the onion slider right here so I can do the video part. Okay, so now we will be using this Lazy Susan, this motorized Lazy Susan for this close-up shot. Okay, so we're almost done. Just one final shot, which is from the overhead and it's going to be an unboxing. So photo, video, let's wrap it up. And that is it. It is a wrap for the campaign shoot of Quix's Tech 63 Tactical Half Mask. I want to say thank you to Quix and Carlo for giving me the opportunity to shoot these masks in that lifestyle setup yesterday and then for the studio setup for the product and video shoot. For those who are watching, I hope you enjoyed this issue. Yes, I'm calling them issues, not episode. This first issue actually of the lowdown, my new series, my new vlog. So I hope you learned something and you know just thoroughly enjoyed it looking at the behind the scenes and seeing my process. So if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. You can also check me out on Instagram, Noel Guevara Photo. While you're at it, follow Quicks as well. So if you have any comments, if you want to say something about the mask, if you have any questions about how I shot the whole campaign, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. So cheers guys, I will see you in the next issue.